Hello Cancer, welcome to another love reading. We're going to be looking at what you can expect in love. What are the recent past energies and present energies for you in love? Who you might be dealing with, a little bit about the person that you have been thinking about or connecting with. And where is this all headed in the near future? What's the possible outcome? So let's jump right in for Cancer. Spirit, angels, guides, messages, please, guidance for the sign of Cancer. Spirit, what do you need to know regarding love? All right, so let's start with the recent past energies for you, Cancer. Spirit, what are the recent past energies? Recent? Okay. The Knight of Pentacles. Some sort of opportunity. This could be a job opportunity as well. Maybe someone asked you out on a date or made you some sort of promise or you saw the potential with someone or have been thinking about the potential with someone. Let's see, what else? The Knight of Pentacles is the slowest night. So they take a really long time to get to their destination, but they do get there. Yeah, Ten of Wands. So I feel like I'm talking to a Cancer where something has been developing for some time. Um, I sense some confusion. Seven of Cups is at the bottom of the deck. So maybe someone's unclear about where something is headed, uh, what the future holds, what choices they should make. Because I feel like this Ten of Wands is a long, I don't know, it's almost like it's been a long journey. And now there's a baggage, there's a weight, there's burdens, obligations that someone is kind of dealing with. Some of you, I feel like, have been waiting for some time for this offer, for this Knight of Pentacles. And it's like the longer you wait, the more questions you have, the more, conf you know, it's like the, the least clear, the less, no, how do I say that? <laughs> the longer you wait, the less clarity you have. There you go. And I, I get the sense this is about the future that you might have with a specific person, Cancer. Some of you have also been um, dating and it just hasn't, it's been more of a struggle than it has um, been something that like works out for you. I don't know why I can't speak today and put like words together. <laughs> What's the current energy, present energy for Cancer? Present energy, please, Spirit, for Cancer. King of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. This is a. This is definitely getting clarity if this is what you're needing. Um, this is direct conversation. This is like getting right to the point. Very like clear, concise, um, logical communication. Okay, what else? <clears throat> Nine of Swords. Okay, so I feel like there's going to be some sort of conversation that takes place. Um, now, the Wheel of Fortune is at the bottom of the deck. I get the sense that this is a conversation that has a lot of weight. Someone's very worried or stressed about what's being said or what they need to communicate. This could be you or, or the person you're dealing with. I feel like there's an anxiety here about how to say something. Not necessarily what is being said but how to communicate it how to open up the conversation in the first place let me get one more here can i get one more um energy please for cancer what do we need to know what do we need to know about the present energy for cancer seven of swords so i feel like someone's literally tiptoeing around something with the seven of swords i'm picturing someone like tiptoeing around something and not really wanting to get straight to the point but that's exactly what's necessary this could be somebody that's beating around the bush right someone could be worried about being deceived you know being lied to being misled I feel like if you haven't had this conversation, it's like it's like a very important conversation needs to be had. Okay, let's look at what the challenge is. What's the challenge? 
What's the challenge or obstacle for Cancer Spirit? Challenge or obstacle for Cancer? The Lovers, Gemini Energy, something to do with a partnership. Maybe someone is debating between what their heart is telling them to do and what their mind is telling them to do, right? Like the that kind of pendulum between logic and feeling. Tell me more, what's the obstacle or challenge for Cancer Spirit? What's the obstacle or challenge for Cancer? The Knight of Swords. Okay, so again, the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck. And for some reason, I'm getting from this Wheel of Fortune, and I got it the first time I saw it. It's almost like this could change so much. Like I'm getting this would be a big turnaround, a big opportunity. And I think it's tied to this conversation, this truth, this talk. It's very important. I feel like it's it's like having the talk about your connection, about the future of your connection. What are we? What are we going to do? Um, are we going to, you know, are you going to commit to me? Are you going to marry me? It's like a big conversation. Someone's choosing, I feel also with the Knight of Swords and the King of Swords. Someone's choosing not to let emotions get in the way here. It's like someone's like, no, let's get to the truth. Let's just be honest with each other. Let's kind of leave the emotions out of it. What's behind the Wheel of Fortune? I'm, yeah, Page of Swords. This is all tied together. It's like this is a conversation that could change everything for this connection. Or, Cancer, maybe having this conversation with this person will help you decide what you want your future to look like, right? Do you want to be with this person at the end of it all? Or do you want to go down a different path? Let's get some um, Oracle cards out here. I'm going to use the Ever After Oracle deck. And this is available now on my Etsy shop. If you want to check it out, it's linked down below. Spirit, what's the overall energy for Cancer in this connection? Overall energy, please. For Cancer. Overall energy overall energy for cancer and this other person glass coffin endings closure new cycles and notice how it's a glass coffin you can see right through you could see exactly what you need to see okay so there could have already been an ending between you or you're wondering if you will have a new cycle with this person. Let's see, what else do we need to know about the overall energy here for Cancer Spirit? What else do we need to know? Wow, wicked stepsister. Jealousy, drama, interference. So there has been something that has gotten in the way of this connection. It could be another individual or it could be jealousy or conflict, drama. I feel like it's added a layer of like, I don't know, it's like there's more issues because of another individual. It doesn't necessarily have to be a romantic partner. Okay, let's get one more. This is the second edition of my Stellar Energy Oracle deck. It's not available just yet. I'm still working on the design and the back design. I've already decided it's gonna change, so. Um, but the front design is the same, so I figured I would still include it in my videos. What's the overall energy here? Overall energy for Cancer, please. Taking action. Movement, action, courage. Time to make a move. I feel like this is exactly what needs to happen. Like, I think this conversation is about action. Yeah, restoring balance at the bottom of the deck. So I get the sense that someone, it's like you're having a conversation because I still get, you know, that's kind of the main theme here, an important conversation that has the potential to change the entire future of this connection. That's the overall theme here. 
but I feel like you're going to be talking about the action that's necessary because someone needs to take certain action, I feel. So let's look at this other person that you're dealing with, Cancer. What do we need to know about this person that Cancer is, has, or will be dealing with spirit? What do we need to know about this other person? What's their energy towards Cancer? What is their energy towards Cancer? The Page of Pentacles, okay? So I feel like they want to bring you an offer or at least make you a promise of some sort. Be uh, Show you their dedication because the Page of Pentacles is very dedicated. They're like the student. Yeah, there's death, Scorpio energy. I think this person, it's almost like they're handing you an ending or a change on like a silver platter. Yeah, and look, the Eight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. I feel like you're dealing with a person who has to let go of an interference or let go of something that is interfering in your connection. So it's either a person specifically that they need to like get away from or someone that they can't be under the influence of anymore or they need to get away from something that interferes in your connection. like. A long distance like the distance between you needs to be shorter or the communication needs to be better someone can't keep hiding things they need to be honest um, if they're fearful of taking risks they need to let that go it's like they're offering you to walk away from something or change their circumstances that's their energy right now Let's get some oracle cards for them this is the ps i love you deck and this is also available on my etsy shop already it's linked down below all right so let's see what is this person's overall energy towards cancer spirit what's their overall energy towards cancer this other person that cancer is thinking about or connecting with their overall energy towards cancer love everlasting this is one of my favorite cards in this deck actually it's so pretty okay so there's love here i do feel they care about you what's their energy towards cancer what's their energy looking back looking back at the past looking back at this connection Bottom of the deck is awakening. So maybe this person's having an aha moment when it comes to the past. Um, right after that, we have heartfelt, oh, you can't really see. Right after that, we have a heartfelt apology. So we had awakening and then heartfelt apology. So I feel like one follows the other. I think this is someone that's realizing something about this connection or about you or about the past between you, the history between you. I mean, maybe they're just realizing that, I don't know, maybe whatever has been in the way here, Cancer, is just not worth it. It's not worth having that break you up or separate you from each other. And let me know if that's resonating for you down in the comments. So where is all of this what, are, what is the possible outcome here for the near future? Spirit, what's the possible outcome here for the near future for Cancer? What's the possible outcome here for Cancer, Spirit? Three of Cups coming together, celebrating. Two of Pentacles. I want to get one more. What's the possible outcome here? What's the possible outcome here? Between Cancer and this other person. Okay, we have the Two of Cups. And bottom of the deck, the Page of Wands. What's behind that? Okay, the Empress. So what I see here, let me just put this over here. What I see here, Cancer, I see a few things. First of all, I find it fascinating 
that this spread didn't get a lot of major arcanas. There's only two, death and the lovers. So what that tells me is this is about the day-to-day. -day. The day-to-day -day goings on of life between you and this person. I don't think there's any uh, like major shifts in energy that are really happening. It's more like getting down to what really is just like the simple things, but the simple things can make such a difference. This conversation between you and this other person, the Knight of Swords, the King of Swords here, um, this is what's challenging. The, you know, it's, like, it's almost like this conversation needs to be had. And once that happens, you can be with your person, right? Three of Cups, Two of Cups, reuniting with your soulmate, coming together with your partner. But I feel like this Two of Pentacles like symbolizes that someone just can't arrive at a decision. They can't arrive at like a point. <laughs> and that's why the conversation is important because there's only so long that you can be unsure about something. You have to arrive at a decision at some point. And I feel like this conversation will be some sort of decision about your connection or some sort of clarity about your connection that's like desperately needed. Um, the truth is very important here. And I feel it's because maybe you've been avoiding having a certain conversation or maybe you're not hearing what you should be hearing. Maybe you're not discussing what you should be discussing. And I think your person, it, you know, it's like they need to take action before it's too late, it's kind of what it sounds like here. Let me get one more for this Knight of Swords, and then I'll wrap this up. Spirit, tell me more about this Knight of Swords. Yep, there's the Nine of Cups. I feel like this conversation will lead to emotional fulfillment, happiness, satisfaction, and it looks like at the bottom of the deck, a new beginning, right? Like I'm telling you, this conversation is important. Now, the fool is also the risk taker. The fool is willing to take, you know, it's like having a leap of faith into the unknown, into what's not exactly like set in stone. Um, and, but I feel like you don't have to, you don't have to know the details of everything. You don't have to have everything planned out, but you need to know at least what direction you're going. I think that's what the main energy is here. So that's what I have for you, Cancer. Hopefully you enjoyed this reading. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you. If you'd like to learn how to interpret the tarot for love so that you can do your own readings at home, 